Hello, this is Max Drake. I just want to talk about um, uh, inputting data, um, lines getting overwritten and formulas and um, some other little details with um, Glide apps. It does pertain to other things uh, within Google Sheets and I just want to use this demonstration where um, uh, the the idea is that if you have some formulas or something like that, you put some new, new data in, it goes to a new line and wipes information out. In fact, it rewrites the whole row. So if you have any information in there, it actually writes it out. I came across this when I was doing uh, a Google um, uh, Forms and uh, I had an issue with... Um, a formula like I've actually just got this formula in here and I've dragged it all the way around and so I actually have my fields for that so what it does is um, the spending tracker uh, just go away and uh, uh, I've just got to put some other key ones in there when I submit this form here if you look at the um, uh, sheet on the other side you'll see the new one comes in but what it's actually done is blown away any formulas I've got on that line there. So somehow I've got to come back and rewrite that formula in there or copy those rows down again. And then it actually happens. So it breaks connections to other, other items that you may have in those um, things. The method that I've been using in Google um, uh, with the Glide apps in the Sheets um, is I've been using scripts and in the scripts I've been basically saying when a trigger happens and we'll talk about that shortly um, uh, copy copy this formula um, oh that one's setting a format that one's a formatting one but um, uh, uh, Somewhere around here, there's some copy. Here's a copy formula. So take this formula, which is in K2, and copy it down to the last row. So therefore, after um, a new line has been added, it then goes through, triggers that script, and then comes through. Now, the way that that script is actually triggered, and I've been trying to disable, I've just taken a copy of my personal finance app and I've tried to bugger it up so that the, the scripts don't work and it's not <laughs> it's not doing what I want. Um, but anyway, hopefully I can actually get the intention here. So in here, oh, sorry, I'll go back to my other one. In, in the personal apps here, I actually have the codes and I have my functions on here. And I have the little timer here, which is the current project triggers. And in the triggers, I have each formula on edit time date copy formula format cells copy formula one copy formula two and on date and they all have a trigger of on change so if i go into this one here and i've got the personal finance and i've got a series of functions in here if i actually go to the the little timer um for that one uh there's no triggers because I've taken a copy. So there's a duplicate of my um, forms, which is most probably what's happened there. So I need to add, add a trigger. And I think it does it by my email. So therefore, I've got to choose which functions. Um, let's just one or more functions with the same name. Choosing one of these functions will define it up to doesn't matter. So um, I'm going to choose the function on open. I'm going to leave this one of um, deployment should run head. I don't think I've got any choices with that. Um, from timesheet, time driven or from calendar. I'm just going to do it from spreadsheet and my trigger is going to be on change. So when something changes in that spreadsheet, it triggers that function to work. And then I save that. And then I've just got to go and get some permissions on here. And I've got to go into advanced and uh, advanced, go to personal finance and allow that to occur. And 
Something's happened. We're having a party. And there it is. So we now have that um, trigger ready to go. So the one that we actually want to just demonstrate on here um, is another trigger, which is a copy formula. And we are going to do it from the spreadsheet, and we're going to do it on the trigger of on change. Save. So... When I now go back to my spreadsheet, I'm just going to blow away these other lines through here. This one here is going to take this formula here, which is the copy um, Where's my copy formula? I'm a very messy code writer. Copy formula, which is going to take this formula here, concatenate all of these lines here, um, get the last row, and go and put it in range J2, and then fill down. So um, uh, an example of that is let's just put an item in there. So I'm just going to put a number one into there. Now I've triggered an event, and you see it's added another row. Because I've done... Um, an on change. So I've changed something in that spreadsheet, it's immediately triggered and it's recopied that formula all the way down there. So it's just rewriting the formula every single time. So it's redoing it. So it's a little bit slow, not the most elegant method, but that way, if the line is overwritten, this formula, so you add a new line of data and all of whatever's in along there gets overwritten, this then comes along afterwards and write so it's on the on chain so that's changed that line this then comes through and writes this down and because i've added another line it writes the formula down to the next one and it does the date time and some other ones so and, and, and this was what drove a lot of this down i didn't want to put the date time in at every single point point in time i actually wanted it to automate and put in a timestamp every time i actually added a line so now I've actually got the date time and then I can strip out the date or whatever I want through here. Um, uh, so that's just taking one part of the process off. If I'm adding another invoice or, uh, sorry, another bill or receipt or something, I'm adding it to the script. It's in real time as such. So it's that day. So therefore, as I add it in, it just adds the date time stamp on it. So that's what I was driving it. And I actually found that it was useful for this. So somebody did ask me about how I was copying this formula down. And that's the process that I'm using. So you've got to, one, have your formula and two, have your trigger. And if you don't have your trigger, it doesn't work. And this is where a Matt was talking about on the triggers um, that the on edit one doesn't seem to work, but the on change one does. So I hope that's been of interest and I hope it's been of help for people who are doing extra exciting things in Glide apps. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, can you please give it a thumbs up? Thank you very much indeed.